Bob, you have a busy weekend ahead, yeah, starting tomorrow at the Pirates game. It's not stop. Yeah, we have a big <laughs> fan festival tomorrow at Lecom right. Park, and that should be a lot of fun, throwing out the first pitch. We'll yeah. see how that goes. And then Saturday, the Irish Celtic Festival is taking place, sixth annual in Lakewood Ranch, and so that's going to be always a big day. The uh, dog parade usually kicks it off, which is always kind of funny. They all dress them up there as yeah. well. And then the Guys and Malls Prohibition Party at Lake Club in Lakewood Ranch, that is uh, Saturday night. And that benefits ALS and the Life Story Foundation. Amazing story about right. Kevin Swan there will be emceeing that event. And then, obviously, the golf has to come in, right? Uh, Laura Low Cup, yeah. Sunday, Sunday night to the dinner, and then the golf on Monday. So uh, hopefully the weather cooperates. The golf may be a little iffy because there are some showers headed our way. We'll see how that goes. Satellite and radar picture showing pretty nice day today. There's a weak cold front that is slicing through central Florida right now. There's not much to it, really. Just some slightly drier air behind it. And then this storm right here that's starting to gather a little bit over Texas will bring some pretty big changes our way beginning Sunday late and into Tuesday. Now it looks as though we will see some chilly temperatures move in Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. You'll see that in the seven day forecast. There are a few isolated showers, mainly inland, just not enough moisture to work with to produce any widespread rain with this front. The Fan Festival Lee Com Park looks good tomorrow and the front moves in Sunday and Monday. So expect a big change there. Much cooler weather on Tuesday. Jackets, sweaters will be required. It looks like uh, finally get a chance to get a little taste of winter before summer arrives pretty quickly. Casey Key webcam, beautiful on the beaches today. Uh, seas running two feet or less out there. Good boating weather, and it should stay that way for the most part on Saturday and Sunday as well. But then things start to change as the winds will start to pick up a little bit. Radar picture depicting just one or two lone showers out there into central Florida. Not much moisture to work with, so this front is not doing a whole lot, and it won't. Overnight, temperatures are expected to be one or two degrees cooler. That would be about it. Arcadia, you see a brief shower there just to the south, maybe a sprinkle or two. 74 right now. The dew point still pretty high at 58. That's come down a little bit, and that means that front is now making its way through Sarasota. Winds are out of the north, northwest at 12, and the pressure is still high, 3014 holding steady. The high today was 82, a few degrees above the average, obviously, and 59 was the morning low. That, too, running three degrees above 56. And rainfall, we could use some. We'll get some, it looks like, sun Sunday and Monday. Not a lot, but we'll get some around and that rainfall deficit nearly four inches. 77 in Tallahassee, cooler in Jacksonville water. Uh, temperature keeping things cooler there. 78 in Orlando, 77 in Key West. And right near the beaches, upper 60s to low 70s. Longbow Key, you're at 72. 76 at Waterleaf, Laurel Oak, 75. And 73 in Venice, Northport, you're a bit warmer. 79 degrees away from the sea breeze. Well, this is a forecast model. There goes a the front on Friday, too. It kind of fades away, pulls up stationary just to the south on Saturday and should not ruin things at all. Saturday looks to be good. Weather-wise, uh, we'll see some shower activity late in the afternoon on the east coast. Nothing here. And then Sunday, it all starts to change as that front moves in. Speaking of change, they're in for a big change over the northeast, northern New England states, and the Great Lakes as some cold Arctic air is getting ready to move in there. So a return to winter across much of the Midwest, Great Lakes, and throughout the Northeast as the, the Arctic air will spill southward. Lots of dry air around right now. Looks to be pleasant uh, into the mid-levels of the atmosphere. We'll see that dry air in place. And then that cold air really starts to drop southward all across much of the eastern third of the nation. Now, boaters, it looks good tomorrow. Seas running generally two feet or less with a light chop in the bays and inland waters and uh, winds out of the northwest. Five to ten knots, picking up to 15 late. Sunset will be at 636 tonight, mostly fair, a little bit of fog, and a low of 61 tomorrow. Mild, mostly sunny, high of 80 degrees, and the extended forecast looking good on Saturday. Sunday, clouds start to increase, a chance for showers at 40 percent, 50 on Monday, and then breezy and cooler from Tuesday to Thursday. Scott?